Hey, how's it going? Welcome back to another episode of the Duo Group Iron Man. I spent the last video training Slayer to get level 95 to unlock the Hydra boss, and then after that I got the Karenda Elite Diary done because it has quite a few perks that's going to help with Hydra. It gives unlimited teleports to Mount Karulm, so I'll be able to get to Konar faster, and that way I can get Slayer tasks faster. It lets me wear any boots in the Mount Karulm dungeon, which means I'll be able to wear my prims when I'm fighting Hydra, and it gives a plus 2 prayer bonus instead of just plus 1, so that kind of helps as well. The Karenda Elite Diary also gives you 20 Slayer points for doing Konar tasks, instead of just a base of 18. If you didn't know, you have to be on task to be able to kill the Hydra boss, and that's what we're going to be doing this video, is just hunting Hydra tasks over and over trying to get the claw. And even if we go dry on it, well, we're still going to get a bunch of GP and a bunch of skilling supplies along the way. So, here's our first task of the video, which I'm actually going to cancel. And that's... Here's the amount of Slayer points I have right now, about 1.7k. I'm not going to be completely skipping every task to try and get Hydra as soon as possible, but I will be skipping more tasks than I normally would. Wait, actually it's Troll Stronghold, I'm going to skip that one too. <laughs> okay, one more chance to start off with Hydra. Okay. Ah, yeah, that's decent. The Ash Sanctifier now gives me the full prayer XP when it auto scatters ashes. So look at that 65 prayer XP drop for each neck reel. Now there is the demonic offering spell, but we don't have wrath runes. And I really don't care to like bank all the ashes I get from these guys. So I'm happy with the Ash Sanctifier giving me a little bit of XP right now. I gotta have my instant gratification. And we are getting 78 prayer from the neck reel. Every prayer level is gonna help because prayer is gonna be a pretty major like limiting trip factor for Hydra. Come on. Oh my god, we actually got it right after that neck reel task. 168 Hydras. It looks like from Konar I have about a 5% chance or a 1 in 20 chance to get a Hydra task, so that's pretty lucky after like, what is that, 4 attempts or something? Spook's been training Erblor for the last few days, and last video she finally made the first super combat. Let's see if she put them in the group storage, I don't know if she did. Now let me ask her. Okay, let's see how many she ended up making. We got 291, that's so good. She's uh, 87 Herblor, so she was like getting the pies um, and like boosting up to be able to make them from 87. We spent a while at Zami to get the Hosta a couple of videos ago because I specifically wanted to have it for Hydra because Hydra is weak to stab. If we uh, take a look at the wiki page over here and you look at its defense, you can see it has way less stab defense compared to the other melee styles. I think the blowpipe used to be slightly better than Hosta with Addy darts, but after the blowpipe nerf, I think it's pretty comparable to using melee, and I'd rather just use melee so I don't have to like waste a bunch of darts and scales if they're both about the same DPS. Here's the drops from Hydra. There's the ring, which each piece is one out of 181, and you always get them in like this specific order. Uh, there's the Hydra leather, which is the best in slot melee gloves, the ferocious gloves, one out of 514, and then the Hydra's claw, which is about one in 1k. And this makes the Dragon Hunter Lance, which I think it's generally worse than a Hosta, except for the fact that it's extra good against dragons so that means it'd be nice for raids nice for vorkath and some other places too and if you take a look at all the other loot in case you don't know what the drop table looks like it's a lot of alkable items so you'll see the cash stack go up quite a bit in fact i turned all the gp i had in the bank into platinum tokens so that's just all that's in there right now so i'm kind of curious at the end of this first hydro task how much GP am I going to have? And then if we come down here, you can see there's the Hydra Pet, 1 out of 3k, the Jar, 1 out of 2k, Hydra Heads for the Helm Recolor, yeah. Okay, I'm going to gear up. Unfortunately, I can't use this shortcut because I need the ADA agility, so I'm going to have to like run past the baby Hydras each time, which isn't a big deal. I might just take like a little bit of damage each time and waste a couple of prayer points, but it's whatever. I'll show you what my setup is. It might change. It probably won't change because I, like I've done Hydra before. I think it took me around 1200 KC on my UIM to get the claw. Oh my god. <laughs> Dude. So like, I know how to do the boss with range and melee. You can see I, I didn't exactly do the best job with maximizing my DPS because um, I could use like the torso for example, but I'd rather have the prayer bonus to like save more prayer pot. And I think the torso just adds one max hit, doesn't like change the accuracy or anything. Of course, I got the slaughter bracelets to extend the task. Even if I did use beak gloves, I don't think they make that much of a difference anyways. Uh, with that said though, I guess uh, I'll get into it and I, like I'm a bit nervous right now That's how it is like whenever you haven't done the boss for a while But once I do like a trip or even just the first couple kills um, I'll get back into the rhythm and it'll be super easy. I forgot about this. There was a poll uh, Recently or maybe it's been like a year or something now where Hydra has like an animation now to show you when it switches its attack styles <laughs> Game so easy now. Let's see if I still got the flame skip in me 
first try easy it's like riding a bicycle you never forget except if you do forget a hey, first hydra kill let's see how long that took let's see if we get lance or the claw first kill of course 317 Good, uh, good title for the video. Your Hydra kill count is one. And I just got two more tasks done. <laughs> I keep getting all these combat tasks done. I have no idea what they are. I guess maybe like when when I'm done with Hydra, this video, we'll see all the tasks I got done. Well, unfortunately, I'm going to have to end the trip here, which I guess is kind of early because I ran out of food. The thing I'm struggling with is when Hydra sends out the blue lightning thing, because it takes me too long to kill it. It sends out the lightning twice throughout the kill. And there's a way to negate that damage. You like stand in the corner and like run one tile and then like back the other way. I'll figure it out and I'll show you if slash when I'm able to figure out how to negate that damage. Hmm, I don't know what the game's trying to tell me by dropping me all these sharks. Okay, let's see, did I do it? I think I did it, but if I move, I might take the damage then. Yeah, okay, so once I get in the corner there, I can't move, so I'm, I, I would be missing out on DPS that I could, oh my God, that I could be otherwise hitting Hydra during that time. I guess it's better for if you're in range rather than melee. That's first try too, so I'm glad I figured that out right away. Oh, now that's a juicy drop. Okay, well, I feel like I was pretty good on food this time, even without getting the food drops. And uh, looks like I got 10 kills starting with eight prayer pots, or I guess in this case, seven and a half prayer pots got me 10 kills. So good to note for the future. I have wonderful news that I'm sure you're all very excited for. I have a new downtime activity for when I'm eating or editing or whatever. And that is something I've done on other accounts, but I've not done yet on this account, which is Apatol Agility. As you know, I am someone that does care about the collection log and there's a bunch of log slots to unlock by doing Apatol Agility by unlocking the different forms of the monkey backpacks at different lap milestones going all the way up to 2k laps and I haven't run the course at all on this account except for I think a couple laps I did for elite clue steps we'll see in just a second my first lap on purpose here is two okay so I've just done it for the clue step once before what got me thinking about it was the fact that that agility shortcut requires 88 agility for hydra so I was like oh you know what that reminds me I haven't done this on this account yet I think I've gone 2k laps on like three other accounts before two of those times were in leagues and the one other time was on the UIM so eventually I will get the 2k laps on this account too i did it again yay just wait here and now that the oh i thought when the lightning phase ended that it'd be fine but okay um <laughs> maybe there's no way there's probably no way around this just whenever i move it's it's all over yep can't do anything. Okay, well, maybe it just doesn't work for melee. Oh, oh, I saw the, cl I don't know why I thought it was the leather, but we got, we got the heads, we got the heads. The Slayer Helm recolor. First drop from Hydra was at 54 KC and as a one out of 256. Not exactly the drop I wanted to get lucky on. Back doing some agility tonight and here's the first milestone of the Apatol agility course. 100 laps for the Karamjin monkey. And this is 100 KC at Hydra. Quick peek at the loot tracker too if you care. Let me switch over to defensive and there is 99 defense. So after this trip we'll go get the defense cape and I just start the trip right now so it's gonna be a little while i think when i'm at the start of a trip or i'm about to start a trip and the slaughter bracelet only has one charge left rather than like waste an extra inventory spot when i go in there i think i'll just break it before i go in so that way the bracelet i have equipped will have full charges because all the slaughter bracelets all share the same charge i almost forgot we're gonna buy the defense cape here and there it is do the emotes and the perk of this cape is that when you have it equipped you can toggle it to make it act as a ring of life which means if you get hit and you have 10 percent or less of your hit points then you'll get teleported to your respawn point however this doesn't mean that it completely prevents you from dying because you know you could still be at like 10 or 15 hit points or something and still get hit for a 10 or 15 and it's not going to save you it's a nice cape for hardcores because uh having the ring of life versus the fire cape i think is slightly worse than having the b ring plus the defense cape if you want that ring of life perk but since i'm not hardcore probably will never get used by oh i have to upgrade this i got a decent amount of money so far from hydra so i'll buy two upgrades one with the gold leaf and the other with the marble block for the highest tier one you need a magic stone but i'm not quite ready to commit that much money to it upgrade to the gilded cape rack one more time to the marble cape rack and now farewell defense cape until i want to make a fashion scape with you i just logged in to do this birdhouse when i saw this hydra right here i was like what did i get the pet but no <laughs> 
<laughs> I didn't accidentally miss getting the pet earlier because I, I always like to do like a double birdhouse run. I bring two like birdhouse runs worth of supplies and never about to log off for more than an hour. I was getting the items for this clue step for the stash, which by the way is a step I don't think I've ever done ever on any account before. Um, but I got this rolling pin, which cost 18k, and this is what it is. <laughs> I've never held this item before, but this is great. Buy a bunch of spider capes and spider capes. I'll have one for the stash unit, one for me, one for Spook, one for her stash, or buy POH for um, like extra capes in there because I want to fill out the POH. Yeah. Wait, was that a diary task? To... Okay, I didn't know that. What was that? 150 KC. I'm a veteran and the master at the same time. I thought one was supposed to be 75 KC for veteran. Hmm. They kind of just made the updates. So maybe it's glitched. No, dude, I'm lagging. I'm lagging. <laughs> Come on. <laughs> like, I know I'm not a hardcore, so like, it doesn't matter if I die. It's just like super annoying. Look at this, dude. I just want to kill Hydra, man. Especially because like I was right at the end of the kill too. It's like going into a pool, you know, like you don't want to do it at first. You just got to jump on in. It's kind of annoying getting in, but once you're in and settle in, it's just like whatever you're in the rhythm, but I have to like get back in there again, jump back in the pool, but it's okay. That is 200 Hydra KC. Will the slaughter bracelet proc or is this going to be the last kill of the tap? Okay, it's over. Last chance, 223 KC, no claw. All I got was head. Pretty disappointing. So many things to talk about with this Hydra task. First thing I want to mention is the GP. This is the money printer. That's what Hydra is. I did spend like, I think it was four or 500K to upgrade the cape rack. So probably made about eight mil GP, just from the GP from this Hydra task. Not to mention all the Onyx bolts. Uh, I got 138 of them. Those would also out for an additional 1.2 mil. For the kills per hour, it probably would have been 15 kills per hour if I would just bank my items and then go straight back to Hydra. But I like to have a little bit of downtime because it's pretty intensive just being in the room there's no downtime so I would take like five minutes or something in between each trip so probably overall maybe end up being like 12 kills per hour or something if you take all that into account um, which means though that this task took me about 18 hours. If you want to see the loot tracker in terms of what the GE value would be it's almost 25 mil from a hydro task so if you're on a regular account not including supplies used it's a lot of GP for one task. I would also hope on the regular count you'd have better gear than me on an Iron Man. My average kill speed for Hydra is about three minutes, 15 seconds or so, which I know it's pretty bad, but someday I'll have better gear for it. By better gear, I mean a lance someday. And in terms of the Hydra combat tasks, I'm eight out of 12 for them. Now on the side of all that, this video, we also achieved 99 for all the melees by getting 99 defense. Okay, I think I said everything I want to say. So with that said, next video, we are going to continue on doing Conor Slayer hunting for another Hydra task. And then also, if you want to check out my duo teammate Spoot Dog's channel, you can find a link to her channel link below in every video description. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed and I hope that you have a great day and I will see you again next time.